Percutaneous cryoablation is an innovative way of destroying cancer cells in areas such as small renal masses. For this procedure, the patient is positioned face down in a CT scanner so that the exact location of the tumor can be determined. Once the location has been isolated, long needles called cryoprobes are placed into the tumor through the patient's skin. No cutting of the skin or muscle is required. Argon gas is circulated through the cryoprobes to create an extremely low temperature at the tips of the probes. Temperatures of minus 40 degrees Celsius kill the cancer cells. In order to ensure that the cells are killed, the area is thawed and frozen again. After the double freeze thaw cycle is complete, the cryoprobes are removed and the patient is on the way to recovery. Percutaneous cryoablation can also be used for thoracic and pulmonary tumors. When a tumor is small enough, only one cryoprobe is required. Circulating argon gas is still used to create the extremely cold temperatures to kill the cancer. The CT scanner is used to ensure that the size of the ice ball is large enough to freeze the entire tumor plus a margin surrounding it. A double freeze-thaw cycle is also used with the single cryoprobe procedure. After the cycle, the cryoprobe is removed and the procedure is complete. For some cases, such as liver metastases, the patient is positioned face up in the CT scanner. The area is viewed with the CT scanner and cryoprobes are inserted from the side or front of the body to ensure that they reach the tumor. The freezing process is the same as for when a patient is laying face down in the CT scanner. Argon gas is circulated through the cryoprobes to freeze the area. Temperatures of minus 40 degrees Celsius are achieved and a double freeze thaw cycle is used. After the final thaw, the cryoprobes are removed and the patient begins recovery.